an event at Windermere Jetty marked two years since the Lake District was awarded status as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So we've invited a number of businesses. Um, what we found is that tourism businesses have jumped on World Heritage Site status and it, they've taken it as far as China and Japan and it's opening eyes. Uh, 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 opening eyes and picking up ears with their with their potential customers, but uh, we're very keen that businesses outside of tourism understand that it's an opportunity. So we have food producers, manufacturers, uh, farmers. They've all come along to find out if if World Heritage Site can work for them, or if they can work for World Heritage. Site. The aim was for those who had managed to use the past two years to their advantage to pass on their knowledge to members in the community. We have about we have over 40 businesses come to here, but what we have is we have um, a, a handful of businesses who who have adopted World Heritage Site to, to their practices now. So we have uh, the Langdell and another place representing tourism. We have Hawkshead Relish representing food and drink. We have Pure Lakes representing manufacturing, uh, and and they're here to, to 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 show how how they do it and what they do with World Heritage and how they weave it into their own operations and hopefully inspire some of these other businesses to do likewise and, and, and come on board. The nature of the designation is of particular interest to those in attendance who are keen to slot themselves into the bigger picture. Internationally we have 1,100, around 1,100 World Heritage Sites in over 160 countries uh, around the world have World Heritage Sites and they are either natural, cultural, a mixture of the two, or cultural landscapes, which is where we fall in. And the Lake District is a cultural landscape and it's slightly different in that it's, it's a re it demonstrates the, the evolving and changing relationship between people and the place. We spoke to one of the individuals who gave a talk on how his business was using the World Heritage Advantage. So today marks the second anniversary of World Heritage Inscription for the National Park uh, and today is just a celebration of that uh, and bringing other businesses into, into the family of World Heritage and explaining to them the benefits of World Heritage to them as businesses and as local community as well. So World Heritage in itself uh, doesn't deliver very much to us but however it is seen and it's recognised as, as setting us in the premium end of that tourism market. As well as using the site to their advantage it was acknowledged that it also comes with quite a hefty responsibility. The responsibility for us as a business so within the Langdale estate is about maintaining the, the whole Langdale Valley for us so we can't expect to take advantage of World Heritage and disregard our, our obligation to maintain that World Heritage status. Um, it is no, it's probably no more onerous than any other planning restraint or anywhere else, but actually there's a real value to it for us, both in terms of looking after the landscape, the communities within it, they in turn look after our business. Another aspect of the day was to celebrate the designation and to emphasise how members of the Lake District community should feel in regard to the status of the region. It's a, an amazing place to live and work in, and I think sometimes we as locals take that for granted there is a reason so many visitors come to see us uh, and there is a reason my wife will always fall out with me when I say why are we going on holiday all these people can't be wrong it's an amazing place and I think it's about pride and if we can get a little more pride out of it today I think we've achieved something it, it reflects on Cumbria as a whole um, I think the Lake District yes but there are there is another world heritage so the, the uh, Hadrian's Wall World Heritage Site so there's an awful lot to be proud of uh, and it's it, it's for the whole of Cumbria to celebrate that the room was packed full of representatives eager to find out how best they could add to and benefit from being part of one of the planet's most significant regions for culture and landscape. Kira McFadgen, That's TV.